Hey, how's it going, Knowles? This is Ruck, doing a quick VOD review for you on Alteric Pass. I got to watch your second game um, versus Souls and Slow-Mo um, for Towers of Doom, and I pretty much summed that up into Varian um, is the wrong tank on Towers of Doom. But I digress. All right, we're here. So looking at um, Alteric Pass, Alteric Pass has um, pretty much one, one, one key important factor on it. It comes down to the Knowles camp. There's probably more. But the Knowles camp. So when you play this map, you want to make sure that you can get that Knowles camp on timer. Right? Um, when you look at your composition, who is going to camp on your team? You need to. You pretty much need to declare that at the beginning of this match, who is going to be the camper. Um, did they do a Savannah's cheese on you? Yeah, they did. Okay, you guys didn't respond to it. But that's a great stun. Good job. Good kills. Good damage. Oh, that was really close. Uh, just a little bit behind. You guys could have gotten a double kill. So, always remember when you start to look for Sylvanas. If they have Sylvanas, you have a global. Like, use it to make sure that you don't get cheesed. So, okay, so you guys are effectively running on 131. Um, that should be fine. You just need to make sure that you're focusing up then on wave clear and that you're able to get that camp on timer. Um, free globe for Erica, that's nice. There you go. So, keep it up. Do what you can. Okay. Camp, 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 camp. Camp is up. We need to camp. We need to camp. All right, we need to camp. We need to camp. Hey, we're going to the camp. Okay. So, opiates, you need to help tank this. Like, yes, you're healing, but, like, if you guys are the dedicated campers, you need to help tank this. And then Joe is going to catch this wave. And then Comb, effectively, is neutral in his lane. Rams is going to be neutral in his lane. Yeah. Um, this is just going to take you a while. Opiates, you need to be in here. Bo does not need a heal. You need to tank this with your face. Like, Erica's gonna die. And then, like, Erica needs the blue juice that you give. Where's your blue juice? You have it up? Am I reading that correctly? Have you used your blue juice? Okay, you have used your blue juice. Okay, you used it here. Yeah, you need to just face tank this opiate so that way you guys can kill this faster. Okay. We'll speed past that. Because you giving a hot to bow doesn't do anything. And now you're here. Now you're face tanking it. Okay. So... Them getting the camp here faster than you is going to be a problem. Just because now you've got effectively... Um, it, you don't have enough anti-siege for what they've drafted. I don't know how this happened in draft. But the only answer you have to Sylve is, is, is having both KT and Joe in that lane. Wherever Joe, wherever Sylve is, KT and Joe have to both be there. Because it's your only wave clear and it's your only anti-siege. So, like, if they have Sylve, like, you could normally, you've got Chromie or Junkrat or something, and then you can, you know, attack that. But they have so much macro on you between the Beatles and the Sylve being able to just shut down a building whenever they want. Like, you guys are going to be having, unfortunately, to match what they're doing. So you're not able to potentially do what you want to do on the map. So um, your win condition looking at this is a hybrid between a kill comp and, a, and an objective-based game. Right? Like, cause, or sorry, macro. Because you're playing for, like, bosses and stuff. Like, you've got Falstead with Gust, so you're hoping to win bosses. But you can't boss. Th this comp is just... Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it plays. It feels awkward to me. Like, the only thing I see here is maybe Wombo Combo, where you do, like, shield into laser into stun into, like, and you just blow them up off of a Wombo. I think that's it. So you're a team fight comp that's Wombo Combo. Because KT is Wombo. Like, or KT is, is team fight. Malph is kind of team fight. Not, it adds no macro, right? And then Blaze can macro, but is mainly used for his stun, his bunker, his team fight. So, yeah, you guys are all in team fights. So pre 10, you guys do want to effectively remain neutral because Joe can't engage without Blessed Shield. 
Sorry, I'll keep this rolling. I'll slow it down, though. So, oh my gosh, Comey, you need to go home. Like, this is a good flank if you had damage. Like, you're just giving them free damage on you. So, I don't know how much of you guys need to respond, but now you want to support this middle camp. Because, like, the, the key thing about this map, right, the importance of this map is this middle wall. This middle structure. Because this middle structure gives room to breathe. So, people can, um, pretty much it's mainly going to be just Erica. Blaze can do it too. But, like, I guess uh, and Joe. But you guys can stand here and block the objective. Kind of like, same thing. They can stand here and stop you from channeling the objective. And so this middle building is so strong, that's how people are able to safely like run away and relive and make fights long time. So if you remove the middle building first, that's how you end up winning on this map. And so you're... So this null camp that you guys got and worked so hard for is now just clashing here in the middle and not being supported. And so they got it first. So now their nulls are going to hit your building, and that's going to be potentially some damage. So you guys got it, though. So just something to think about of, like, as you're picking for this map and picking what you want to do, how do we remain neutral until we hit tens? Because you guys really don't have any ways to engage or to fight them or to anti-siege them until you hit ten. So you're doing okay, right? Like, you're up on XP, which is the strength of your comp because you have the global. So see if you can keep it. Just you're losing buildings. Good dodge. Okay, so they're going to shut this down again, and you guys respond, which is correct. Now you have a chance. Yes, let's see it. Beautiful. Kill that Anduin. Well done, guys. Okay, you got the kill. What do you do? You've got 15 seconds. What the heck, Bo? Did you take the kill minions instantly, Talent? Oh, you guys could have channeled that if you worked together. Now you're not going to get it. Okay. So remember, if we are going to fast channel the objective, whoever's channeling needs to be on the opposite side of the person. Like, you can see that we were trying to hit the minions and do at the same time. And so, like, if we would have just blocked for comb... We would have gotten the channel for free right there. And now with the free channel, we can play for, for time. Because most of the time, you're not going to win this channel off of one kill or two kills. This first channel is usually a tug of war. This is not something you're going to instantly capture. So what you do is you get that quick channel like Comb just did. Like if he wouldn't have got interrupted, you get the channel and you go back and get this camp. Go take this camp again. Because then what will happen is you're ahead now on this camp timing because they have to come here to stop you. Joe should never die because she has D, right? And so she can walk away safely and then a noob digs in, very telegraphed, you hit D and you walk away. So then Joe is the only one that needs to be here to secure that this stays long and then she can poke twice with two flashlights, right? So like that's all we need is for you guys to hold but we missed our quick channel. So now we're not able to get up to here, which now gives them enough time to show up and start actually hitting you for real damage. So now we've like over-engaged, right? Like now we're fighting and you've got Blaze on the camp because Blaze knows that this camp is that important or someone on their team has called camp, 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 camp. Good job getting out, Comb. And then again, they're pushing that with the Sylv. So, okay. So, so far, no harm, no foul. We're still up on XP. Things are still going okay. Um, they're going to get this objective. Don't overcommit as we're clearing middle. Well done. Both teams have sevens. Yeah, I think you guys are okay. Um, obviously, check your bushes there. Clear what you can. Don't take tons of free Sylv damage. Are we fighting or are we flanking? Because right now, you guys are actually in a great position. You guys are in a great position. Mid is dying. They're going to lose mid if they don't answer this camp. Ramsey's winning top. You got the top wall. They are five people down here. 
right? We've seen for a while they're five. We don't want to fight them, right? Let them get, like, the worst thing for us to do is to die. That was a great heal here. Okay, they've now gotten the channel. You have 25 seconds to get here and take a fight. So Blaze, as soon as they get the channel, Ramsey, come on down. Everyone needs to be healthy so you can force the fight. Sonya's, look, they answered. Right now that they answered, now we can push up. But we may have pushed up too hard earlier, so now we're low for Ming to potentially get a kill. There we go. So you see how this is a tug of war. This is going to constantly happen. And guess what? Since they're ahead on camp timer, right, that very first camp, their camp's up again. And so now in the tug of war stage where it's neutral, they can get this camp to create the same pressure that you just had on the wall. So you guys assumed that they're on the camp, which they are, right? They were on the camp. Okay, again, tug of war. Don't overcommit. You have no engage. Ramsey's your engage right now. You guys are a whole level ahead to tens. Take your free time, right? Like you only needed two people here to get this channel again. There's only one minion here, right? Let's back this up. What else could you guys have been doing? So you push them off. So right here. First question should be, when's our camp up? It's not up for another 19 seconds. Okay. Then we need to get tens. We need to get healthy. Bo needs to get health. So Bo should be going home. Get healthy. Someone should be clearing bottom. Get get ready. Someone should be clearing mid. Right? Like, let's get tens. But if you want to play for this objective and get some time on it, that's fine. I think it's only Ramsey. I don't really want him here because I'd rather him be clearing and doing stuff, right? Like he came down correctly here, and now he needs to leave. Or he needs to soak. And Bo needs to get health. Right? Does Bo have tap? Bo does not have tap. So I would prefer, if we're going to try and cheese some time here, take two people. Whoever it is, if it's these two or whatever, walk over and try and cheese it. You just saw Ming's here, so you're not going to be able to cheese it. Right? Like, we just have too many people. Okay, you got it. Right? Like, I don't think you needed four. But you got it. Now that you got it, go away. Don't be here any longer. Leave. I can't see the timer because of the replay, I'm guessing. Like, I thought I could see how much time is on the on the capture camp here. But unless you have less than 10 seconds left to capture here, you should not be fighting here. Because there's no way that you can guarantee that you get 10 seconds. So, I don't know where the capture times went. I blame replays. So, but yes. Because the longer we stay, the greater chance that we die. And giving Ming one reset is going to mean that the whole team dies. You guys lived great, but now we're not healthy enough to do anything. And so now they're going to get the objective and they're going to win. Ramsey could have maybe poked the channel from here next time. Let me quickly see. I don't plan on hyper breaking down this entire replay. But just little things like this to make sure that you get it. Let's see where Ramsey goes. Because Ramsey had to leave up here because he almost died. He taps. Okay, right here. You actually did have it, Ramsey. Okay. So Blaze can throw oil right here over the wall and burn. So if, if as soon as you tap, you need to come here, throw your oil, and use it to burn. That stops or stalls them from getting it. And then you will have potentially a second charge of oil here soon to do it again. Because you, like, you did it, just if you did it from here, you would have actually poked him and stopped them. So... Okay, we're here 4v4, because now Comb is stuck answering middle. Ramsey's... Uh, we lost our mouth. I don't know what happened there. But 
but yeah, we pretty much had to give at that point. Like, we needed to somehow get a reset stall. So, like, that poke here from Ramsey, maybe, could have gotten you a couple of reset stalls to where people could get healthy. <laughs> I apologize. So, yeah. But eventually, you guys were just going to lose that battle of attrition because Malf can't heal without hitting people. And there was no people to hit because you guys are just too low. So, this is Sylvanas things. We almost have tens. So, despite all of our... Um, all of our... Wait. Our early game advantage is pulling ahead. We have tens. Blessed shield. Are we fighting here? Um, that shield felt very weird, Bo. Good job, Snap, picking your shield. Okay, Anubrak does dive too far. Okay, Erica has a flame strike available. So your blessed shield accidentally hit the beetle. I a hundred percent doubt that Badger did this on purpose, but your shield hit the beetle, which meant that you did no damage to Anubrak. And your sh duration of stun is only half as long, right? Because your shield level 10 only does, stuns the first person for 1.5 seconds. Yeah. So you did half damage and half stun on accident. So that might be why you didn't get a kill here. Because there's no, like, because Erica normally has time to cast Tornado, to cast Fire. Where was Tornado? Was that on cooldown? Or did you not E or W? And it also... E or, D or E. And so it also got... Interrupted. You just threw it early. You panicked. You thought he was coming on you. Okay, so you didn't have your E. So... I mentioned Wombo Combo Laser. So I'm just gonna count the rest of the replay how many times they stood in a line for you to hit lasers so here's one yeah laser okay unfortunately we blue alts couldn't do anything they're getting mid for free yep Okay, so one objective, two buildings. Bottom building is practically already dead because of Savannas. Say Levy, we're okay. All right. So you guys managed to be sneaky and get away. Nice. I don't mind you uh, checking boss. A little dangerous. Okay, we have our camp up. Who's camping? Are we looking to fight? Are we looking to boss? Blazes, Blazes doing the camp. So if Blaze was planning to do camp from level 1 because of his talents, we need to actually use it. Sorry, two seconds. Once again, 
we have boss control with the wind, right? So I can understand checking to see if they're bossing. My comment goes back to this. If Ramsey is going to be doing the camp from early on, like level 1, level 2, right? Ramsey only needs incinerator gauntlets, right? And then, then he can do this by himself. But if he's planning on being here and doing this anyway, right, to be camp every time, then maybe potentially switch who's covering lane and who's on the camp just so that way it gets done faster and safer so you could potentially put malf and ramsey on the camp instead of malf kt on the camp or put brightwing or sorry put falstad and um, malf on the camp and like just do a weird rotation but if ramsey's always on camp after four because of incendiary gauntlets let's make sure that we give him the opportunity to do the camp by covering his stuff so having Falstead cover his stuff, so that way he can do the camp. Right? Like, yeah. Okay, so checking the boss is fine. Okay, we saw that they did this camp, so we need to control vision. Uh, as soon as I said that, they jumped on you. Okay. So once again, we checked. They're not there. Okay, so right here, we have... No vision control of their team. We have Blaze here. We have, like, all four of us clearing one wave. Like, KT clears the wave by himself. Joe clears the wave by herself. Falstead can hypothetically clear the wave eventually by himself. Right? Like, we're just up really far for no reason. Like, once the boss was checked... Bird should be like, okay, I'm going mid to cover mid. And even even KT should be, okay, I'm covering mid. Right? Like, there's no reason there should be four of us down here. And then I don't like Joe clearing the wave this far forward. Because now you're showing vision. But also we're not controlling the vision. Right? Like, they've been sitting here for a while after the first time you checked boss. Right? Like, if we go back to the first time you checked boss. Because you checked it twice now. So right here, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, right here, you were looking to see if they were at boss, which they weren't. Okay, right here, you went to see if they were at boss, which they weren't. Now they're going to collapse on you, right? Like, you don't need to overcheck boss. If you don't see so Sonya... And Sylvanas, their boss is incredibly slow. They need them both. They don't have a bossing comp. It's not like they have Hanzo or Greymane or ha something that, like, the boss is just going to melt because you didn't check it for five seconds. Right? Like, you've got homework to do. Do your homework. And then, unfortunately, you guys clumped. Like, th this is a bad clump. So... Good initiation from them. You just die. Oh my gosh, you actually lived? Wow. Uh, Joe turned around and died. Joe didn't need to do that. Are we re-engaging here? You guys have nothing. Yep, and then we got her first kill, so she gets two kills. Oh, good attempt. If you're going to bunker... Oh my gosh, hold on, Ramsey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So in my opinion right here, you leave Joe for dead. But if you have Bunker Blaze, you need to E in right here and immediately Bunker. Which it looked like maybe you were trying. Just in general, I think you leave Joe to die here. Like, you guys all got out. You should have all died. But just leave Joe to die. Okay, is there any way? No, you tried. You are stunning maybe the wrong angle. You, you tried. But yeah, Joe's just dead. Yeah, you guys need to leave. And so, Ramsey unfortunately has to bunker. Which means Opiates is now ulting. So, yeah, we blew all of our ults for Joe. So, okay. 
Oh, groovy. Why can't I get my Joe POV? That's because you're dead. Okay, so new Brack can cheese the objective. Just because it's new Brack things. So we need to fight them. Assuming we have all our ults up. We have Joe shield up. We want to fight. That's a great angle. Yes. This Sylv dies. This Sylv still dies. This Sylv still dies. Oh, no. We're too hard. Oh. Take the free bait. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Don't chase those kills. That's way too deep. Look at where we look at what we had. Right, remember, your team has tiny arms. Right? The longest casted ability is Jaina. Or sorry, not Jaina. Is um Right? Look at where your team is. This 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 is right here in front of you. Everyone can get in range to hit. Right, and if and if Bre and if the Anduin tries to save this, the Blessed Shield will bounce to him. I see you wanting to change chase the Anduin, but you, uh, uh, pick one. Oh no, because the Anduin was right there too. And then you went back to the Anduin because you guys are screaming Anduin, Anduin, Anduin. Oh, and then the shield missed, and now it's gone. That's okay. They missed theirs. I think Bunker is not available. Yep. They have their first kill, and that's pretty much it. Good damage, good attempt. Okay, let's go back. I said I would count times where they were clumped for a laser. Laser! Did you gust? Yes. Right? It had a chance to save him. I agree. But laser... So. Two. So two gusts, two lasers. And then... What we... I don't know if you can... You can get a couple more stalls. Oh, calm. Yeah, you don't have barrel roll. You can't play that again. You already used your barrel roll once. Yeah, you didn't... Oh, your barrel roll got interrupted. Okay. Okay. More, more forgiven, but still you shouldn't be up there. Right, like, if you look at how we're playing this structure. So, you can play up here to poke. You can't You can't play up here to poke. There's no building for you to run to up here. So, you can play over here because you can E over the wall over here. You can't play up this way. Because there's nowhere for you to run to if they engage on you. And sure enough, they engage on you. And Malf is south. I'm not quite sure where Malf was going. But I think it's just we're disengaging in general. Okay. Okay. So they get the objective again. And we just got to do our best to clean up. Which, oh, that's poor Ramsey. I'm guessing you hit the wrong button. That's uh, unfortunate. Because now you don't have bunker. All right. Let's see how we defend this. So, we're all bottom again. We have Blessed Shield. This is like, again, like this is a good, good flank. Like, you're here. We're not all here, but this is great. And then, uh, oh, we're backing up. We're backing up. We're backing up because there's a laser. Okay, we called that we're looking here. As soon as they showed, like, are we fighting or are we not? Because we need to be communicating if we're defending or we're fighting. Because that flank here says we're fighting. And I agree, we need to fight. 
This is going to be our last chance, pre-16, to get an even talent-tiered fight. And you know that they're going to be using the Sylvanas to push, and you don't have the tools to stop her. So this is a forced 5-on-5 five -five fight. So I would have loved to have Ramsey come down with Comb in this flanking angle if we're taking the flank. Okay. So again, we throw out Blessed Shield. It's on Anduin. You have the barrel roll. Laser. Pew. Pew. Or even if you're doing a gust play. Do the gust play into the wall right here. So that way we can get the blade, the the the, the, bla the stun from KT, the stun from Blaze, the root from Mouth. Like, this is beautiful. So just gust them right here. And then you, you, you did it late. Like, like, I like it. I just, I think it's late now. I'm glad you guys took the fight. It looks like you're going to live. It looks like we're now lacking focus fire and we're just clearing. Yeah. So that's three laser. We shouldn't lose any keeps here. Oh, we do. We know one came top. That's unfortunate. No, we don't. We'll be fine. We cleared it. All right. We're still in this game, guys. We're down three structures, but I think between one objective cleans up two structures, two objectives. So you need two objectives and a boss. And we're still in this. We still have 20s to come in. And 20s are pretty strong for us. With the ranged mosh pit gust, we have some pretty strong 20s. Okay, so we checked the boss, and we guessed wrong. Okay, yep, as I was gonna say, don't rush, don't rush their other boss now. If they get it, they get it. We're, you know, we're unfortunately stuck taking Constellation Prizes. Clearing this null camp's actually very good, because they have to answer that. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Man. So... What's funny is that that top boss did almost nothing, except for enable them to get this bottom boss, which you now have even talent tiers to fight for. Sonya has to answer this null camp. If you guys can get this fight here, you're going to be way golden. Same game plan, right? Same game plan. Only difference is that Comb blew his flight, so I don't know if he's going to be here in time to help. So now we can't fight behind the boss. Like, right? Like, we did that flank from behind the boss to engage on them to get to the Anduin. Now we can't. So if you throw your whole combo and Anduin pulls them away, you're going to be really sad. So no joke. They took two bosses and tried to even up the map, and all they've gotten... Right, because they didn't secure them. Not that the damage isn't bad, but they did not get actually anything. So you still have a great chance to come back and take this fight. So you guys want to be fighting. You want your wombo combo team fight here. Joe, you are way too far forward. Look where your team is. And then again, are we fighting? Or are we capping? You gotta pick one. You can't do both. Okay. We secured the cap. Well done. Okay. So next thing. They're up on the tug of war. So what are we gonna do? We have to find a way to take a team fight. We need a team fight. I'm gonna say it again. Laser. Even if it's just to help get that kill. This noob is overextended. As he's running away. Fire the laser! That definitely was a kill. Oh well. Blaze is now coming... 
Blessed Shield just got used right there. And, uh... What did Blessed Shield hit, Bo? Did you miss? You missed. That was a dead bug. Shame bow. Shame. Hundred percent dead bug. Because what your shield is like three hundred damage. Ten overkill. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Alright, enough shame. Imagine if that was a laser. Like, you have Bunker, you have Mouth, you didn't need the Gus. What did the Gus do? Yeah, that Gust actually did nothing. That was a bad Gust. That's a great stun, Ramsey. Oh, we died to collateral Ming damage. That's gonna happen. And then Ramsey dies because we d took the first death. How much did you die by, Erica? Like, this is one of the problems with taking Malph on this map. Malph is such a team fight healer. Look at this. Erica's like, I'm confident. I'm confident. Can I go slower than normal? I can't. I'm confident. <laughs> Poor Erica died to Q Mirror Ball. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Erica. The, the orb didn't even hit. You died before the, before the orb. Alright, well that's the game. Um, you should lose objective and lose the middle fort. Yep. That's game. Uh, well, maybe you guys can pull one more wombo combo off or something. But you're going to lose all your buildings with this push. All right, let's see it. Let's see the Hail Mary. How do we do it? We're not going to, like, obviously we're not going to get 20s, right? Effectively, this game is GG at this point. But let's see if we can make a Hail Mary. If we're going to make the Hail Mary happen, how do we do it and what do we need? So the first part of breaking down a Hail Mary is to get um, one to two picks, specifically their, their racers, and having high clear. You guys do have high clear. So this... Sonya is technically overextended from her team. You don't know where their team is, but they were showing on the bottom side. So if you can quickly pick and blow up this Sonya, you might be able to slow the roll to where it's not an auto-lose. So they're showing now, and they're five now. Yeah, you're effectively done. So you have to try something before the minions show up. That's a pretty good stun. We're just on different targets now. Blaze hit this stun. Jaina, you can see Erica's trying to follow up on your stuff. And a laser again! Like, ah, oh, man. Okay. I know we're desperate, so I'm not going to grill too hard. I just want to see, could it happen? Could it Could it have actually physically done been happened? Okay. So right here. If Bo's screaming, I'm going to shield, I'm going to shield, I'm going to shield. You should be shielding any of these targets. Like, these are, these guys are way too far forward. You should just shield them now. Any of these targets, blow them up. Like, this is a good clump. I agree. This is a beautiful clump for your shield. Unless he has laser, no one can reach this. Like, Erica's not level 20 yet to when she can have the upgraded version of this. I don't know why Erica's not mounted. I missed it. So maybe she was, like, helping clear this or something. But Erica's last. So Erica can't reach this, even with her E or her Q. She's running to you, trying to get in range of your shield. I think you shield earlier. Just, just force the issue earlier. Because this is a good shield. But no one can reach you. And Ramsey stunned the only thing he could reach. And so now now the DPS has to choose, who do I go on? Do I go on the stun that Ramsey hit, or do I go on the stun that you hit? 
because we're not in sync. And so now KT's trying. You can see she's literally running after this Ming but can't reach it. And now Erica runs away because she's like, I guess I can't do anything. So. Yep. We attempted. We tried. That's it. GG. I'm not going to go to the end. They win. Um, okay. Let's take a look at some talents real quick. So before we get to talents, I guess uh, my two-second rundown would be um, play to your win condition and play the objectives like a tug of war. Right? Like you need to be able to do that into Ming, we don't want to give them free resets, free kills. So let's not give them to them by forcing an all-in into a poke war. Because they just literally poked you out down here when we could have kept our level lead that we had. Right? Like, we got to tens first. We should not have been able to lose this position even after losing the first objective, which it's okay to lose an objective here and there, right? It's not the end of the world. But, like, you guys got to tens first and, or you guys were a whole level ahead and ended up losing the first objective, which then gave them two buildings, which then, for some reason, we, like, played down here for way too long and got Womboed. So, yeah. Play to your strengths. Play to your win condition. Let's see. All right, Glare. This is just wrong, bro. You don't need this. Like, you're going to instantly wave clear everything as Joe already. Like, if you were truly offlane Joe, and you're going to be stuck on an island, or double soak Joe, sure. But you're not doing that. I, I think you should take the the Q slow. The the subdue would have been better. They were they were piled so many times. So many times they were clumped for you. This this Q slow would have been good. You actually would have completed your quest right here. Not that you need to complete it at seventeen minutes, but but yeah. I think Q would have been better there. I agree with movement speed. I agree with stun, shield, yep. Okay. Mouth. Sleepy Roots, that's fine. Um, yep, giving yourself a free heal is pretty important. Extending heals is fine. Yep, 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 that's fine. Yep. Use the cooldown. Yeah, that's fine. You should be following up on Bow anyway. Burn Flesh, yep, you should be following up on Bow. I will have to ask my um, my KT specialist. But just something to think about, Erica or Bo or anyone else watching this. What's your goal for Pyroblast here? Or I'm sorry, what's your goal for Phoenix here? Like Phoenix is a zoning tool and does constant AoE damage. So are you taking Phoenix to, like, stall a channel? Then it's pretty brilliant. I love it. We never did it, but it's brilliant. Are you taking Phoenix because you're trying to follow up on a Wombo combo and it's going to be an instant? Uh, understood. It's at least guaranteed damage on the Wombo. I 100% believe this should have been a Pyroblast game. So, one of the interesting things about KT is that your Pyroblast scales bigger than health. Your, 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 your Pyroblast actually outscales people. So, yes, Ming took Spell Shield on one, so she might have Spell Shield, but Sylvanas doesn't have any way to dodge Pyroblast. And Anduin had, took Light Bomb, so he can't, like, bubble it away. So, you can you can definitely either lead with a Pyroblast, or, like, once you've thrown all of your abilities on the pile, like, just Pyroblast somebody. If you're not comfortable using Pyroblast, it's fine. But I don't, I don't know... If Phoenix does enough this game outside of being like a channel interrupt or trying to help you with boss boss zoning or trying to help you with anti siege, like maybe you took it for the anti siege. Yeah, I guess I like it for the anti siege, but but like your team's win condition is wombo combo off of the shield, so that that doesn't really contribute to your wombo combo. Um, Blaze talents look fine, and then. 
AA heals, secret weapon. Yeah, that's fine. So, all right. Well, best of luck on the next one, guys. I think you had it. Just take it a step at a time. Fight your win condition. And, um, yeah, try not to play into theirs so much, right? They wanted to get a quick pick blow up. You had tools to quick tip blow up. It's almost like you took too many tools to protect yourself from a quick pick blow up, right? Like every time the leap came out, like it was gust, it was bunker, and it was mouth, right? Like you don't probably need the gust to happen um, either way. So GG's, catch you on the next one.